from my wonderfully talented friend Lucy who did a Kickstarter a couple of months back for washi tapes and has have arrived so I wanted to open them up and show you so I went for the tigers um, the little paw prints and animal crossing fruits and it's always so lovely to help a small business with their Kickstarters and help them bring some more products to life so very very happy to have taken part in this one and now I want to see what these tapes look like how cute though, seriously. Oh my goodness. Well done and congratulations again, Lucy, on these washi tapes. They're so pretty. I think the tigers is my favorite. Oh my goodness, what a handsome chap. Oh, that's rather convenient. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness! Who is ready for some pouches? That is stunning. I am so so happy with that. Oh my wow! Oh my goodness! Well, this looks worse than it is. <laughs> Who is she kidding? Right, today I need to restock key rings. Um, I've also put these in the sale. So these come as a pair. Mr Pig Appreciation Club. I think they are 50% off now because these are just the last ones. So I put them in the sale. And I'm going to go through key rings today and just replenish the ones that are already made up. So I'm going to do that fabric arrived yesterday so I've been building up a stash I've just ordered more zips I'll talk about sewing um, in a second that is for a pouch I'm trying to make and oh no, I just want to I just want to tidy at the weekend I'm going to Ikea because I've wanted the Alex drawers the shorter wider ones for a while because this Kallax unit isn't doing anything for me. It just it was cheap at the time. It was a it was good at the time to buy, but gradually I've realised that it's just not the most efficient use of space. So this cupboard is gonna go here and then new Alex drawers are gonna go here. And then that's it. Hopefully I'll be done with studio furniture and moving stuff around. But I've been tidying um my trolley all my bits in there look all my bits in there um that lid is for these prints i've got a box here on the go of second stuff but i'm not gonna do anything with that until january which seems 
like a million years away but um it's just got stuff in here that's all seconds i put my knitting into this lucy and yak sari bag that i got my last order in keeps it nice and tidy doesn't it do you want in there look and oh up there took down my cork board my notice board and i put up this wonderful I bought it for my hair but I just when I got it I thought it was too beautiful to roll up and put in my hair I wanted the full impact of this beautiful print it's from Lush and it's one of their recycled bottle um, not wrap thingy my bobs but I thought it was too pretty to roll up and put in my hair so I've put the whole thing on the wall as you do the washi tapes are due to be dispatched any day now, meaning they'll arrive hopefully within the next week or so. So I really wanted to get the storage thing sorted out before they arrive and then I can properly organise all the new stock and filter out some old stock, hence Mr Pig Badges. So um, I just grabbed these, I need to go through I found a badger as well I thought I'd like run out of them um so I've just grabbed these I'm gonna finish making these up putting them into their compostable cello sleeves that was the word I was looking for and then I need to tidy the studio hello welcome to my messy studio I have a question why does James get two parcels and Ellis only gets one but I'm hoping it's something that I <laughs> So, I have something to show you guys. This isn't very interesting. You might be wondering, what is it? So, at the end of last week, I made a pouch with one of the pieces of sample fabric that I got from my manufacturers. So, I thought I'd be able to make a slightly bigger pouch. So, this is tiny. This is not the size that I will be adding into my shop. Unless you guys like it, please let me know. Feedback is welcome on what size pouches you'd like to see. I was going to try and make them a little bit bigger. So, this sort of size is what I'm going to experiment with. And I did make this one without a zipper foot. But I thought if I'm going to do it properly, I think I'd rather just see what this is all about. So, I grabbed a zipper foot meaning that we can now commence with making pouches so you guys saw yesterday the fabric turned up so i can make lots and lots of foxy pouches however what you saw me doing at the start of the vlog was experimenting with pouch sizes but because getting my fabric printed is a really expensive ordeal it's pricey which is why i won't be able to initially come out with loads and loads of different designs and that is why it will be limited to two or three different designs at the moment and the badger one for sure is going to go forward the fox one and i'm just mulling over the pegasus one for a nice autumnal feel but that's why i was experimenting with um just some printed fabric that i had i think i showed you guys this in the last vlog but I got some fabrics in just for occasions such as this one. So now I have this pesky zipper foot. I can now go and see if this makes life any easier. In fact, let's just get rid of the hair. It's top knot time. Ellis's natural state of being. <laughs> I'm 
actually like really surprised at myself. I don't like this zip. This is a zip that I had just, oh well, that's why, like lying around from a Halloween costume project that me and James did a few years ago. Um, it's metal. I'm going to go with nylon zips because they're easier to work with, in my opinion anyway. Um, but for the sake of using up some scrap fabric, um, very, very happy. I've just managed to line a pouch. Uh, what do you guys think to this size? Please let me know. Um, I can also do more pencil case type sizes. But yeah, it's it's lined. And I think a little bit more practice. And to be well away, guys, to making pouches for the shop. I'm so, so happy. Oh, yeah. They just... Um, I think I'm definitely going to go with lined pouches because they just feel... Um, a lot more like longer lasting and higher quality um, a lot more durable and if I'm gonna be making things with fabric I want things to be long lasting for you guys and make them as sustainable as I possibly can so I'm really really happy with that for today I could keep pens in there be a little little travel pouch for myself I'm very happy with it though can't wait to make some more now I've used a actual zipper foot I can definitely tell the difference. I think before you actually have a feel for how it feels when you're using it with the machine, especially as like I would consider myself to be a sewing beginner, even though I've been sewing for like, yeah, I've been sewing since I was about 14, 15, but I've never branched out into things. Um, I've just mucked about in the past with a sewing machine. I've never made garments like the clothes, the pouches. So I would consider myself to still be a beginner and looking at different feet, I was like, what difference is this gonna make? But it really does make a difference. And thank you for your encouragement as well on the last few vlogs with the sewing projects and things. I was, I was a bit nervous, to be honest, that you guys wouldn't um, be interested in seeing it and that you might get bored or fed up. But um, this could even be my, my foot bag. Hello. Zip you up. Oh yeah, that is such a novelty. I'm enjoying this a lot. I mean, hi, you didn't have to jump out at me like you just did though. We need to, we need to make you leave. Got him. You made me jump. I just went to get some blue thread out and uh, <laughs> I don't mind spiders. He can do what he likes, but I would rather he didn't crawl around my feet and make me jump. I mean, I think I need to change my pants now, Mr. Spider. That was not a pleasant experience. I would never do that to you. Let's remove you. This isn't okay. It's a little bit early for you to be coming out, don't you think? We're not even in autumn yet. Put it this way, bud. If I'm not allowed a pumpkin spice latte and there's no squashes in the supermarkets as of yet, you ain't allowed to come out. I'm going to pop him outside. <laughs> I know some people say that you shouldn't put house spiders back outside because they'll die, but it's still lovely and warm outside, so... He'll put it this way, he'll be better off outside where he's able to catch more food and things and get drinks and whatnot because the dogs might get him if he stays in the house or he might get trodden on and I don't want that. No thank you. An alive spider is much better than a dead one and thou shall not harm. So I have enough fabric, lining fabric and one blue zip. This was my sample zip. So I can have a crack, I can be brave and cut into this, I've got so much of this which is brilliant. But what I'm going to do first, I think I'm going to make a pouch today because I'm excited and I can't wait. I just want to see what it looks like. <laughs> Does anyone else get like that? And um, But first I'm going to put all these together. I have just noticed that this is a seconds. Can you see it's got like a bit of a dent in him. So I'm going to pop him into the seconds basket ready for a January big sale thing I've only got one of him left and that's the last one which is a shame um but yeah I'm going to string all of these up get through as many of these as possible so that my drawer is full then when I've done that I can go back to my fabric I'm just trying to it's discipline guys discipline constant vigilance I mean what are we thinking though definitely that one yes it's the it's the most accurate match I've got. That one's a bit too grey and silvery, isn't it? 
Um, bless my dad for getting me um, all of these threads. It came as like a bundle when he got me the sewing machine all those years ago. So these are coming into a lot of use right now. They're all in here. This is where the spider was chilling. Jumped out at me, he did. It was very uncalled for. Don't know why he did it. Jumped out at me. He just sprung out of nowhere like a ninja with eight legs. I hope he had eight legs, unless he suffered some great misfortune and lost some. But yeah, all of these colours in here. I think when I've got the new drawers, I'll be able to actually lay these out in the drawers and then I can see them all, but for now, they're in this box. So I did order more lining fabric and I got another half a metre of this stuff from the last vlog, if you recall, um, if you were here. So um, I want to make myself a new top with this. I loved it that much, I thought I'd grab some before it ran out, but it'll make a lovely wintry woodland top. Just gonna disinfect the desk again. It's become a regular thing. Nice and clean and it smells amazing. I was just about to sew this, got really excited about it and then James rang on his lunch break and asked what I was up to which is a daily routine for us and I told him I was sewing pouches after the success of the, um, the other fabric one and he was like weren't you going to put labels in it though so secrets out guys I wasn't going to say anything until they got here because I thought it would be a nice surprise but I've actually got some labels coming to kind of stick out of the edge of the finished piece which obviously needs sewing into this bit here so it's not a big deal because I haven't sewn it yet I can just leave it pinned and then when I've decided where to slip a label in I can just pop one in but I highly doubt that's going to happen within this vlog so because that's not going to happen I just thought I'd explain to you why I've not finished it. I hate to be a tease, I was so excited to show you guys a finished pouch and see if I actually managed it because I didn't want that thing to happen where it works for like the dummy run and then you actually go to do it and it doesn't work. I'm such a sceptic. Nervous is probably 
a more a more apt to school here he is hello darling so yeah i don't think i've had a dispatch for them i only ordered them a couple of days ago and i've never ordered them before so i don't know how fast on average these things arrive so yeah i'm just gonna leave this pinned it's not a big deal i can just leave it somewhere safe so i don't go stabbing anything or anyone and i think what i'm gonna do now is have a really good tidy of the studio ready for the weekend it's now thursday so if i have a really good tidy now um it will be a nice space to come in with the new drawers and space to build space to organize all that good stuff so it's been a long time coming i don't know how this happens it just gets so out of hand every so often and it needs sorting so yeah let's do it oh guys look at these got um new stickers for washi packaging and also shop orders oh i really love these i thought i'd go for like an autumn theme because we're coming up to autumn as well much to my satisfaction so i've gone for this design again and this time i've gone for pegasus pegasus is, 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 is on the other side it's a really nice card as well and recyclable too which is always a bonus but i'm really happy with these stickers i did get some prints as well but i can't show you those just yet because they are for my patron pink club boxes for september can't believe i'm saying september but yeah these have come and they're really nice happy with those 